Hello everyone. In this video, uh, I am going to talk about how can we invoke uh, uh, resource type uh, based Sling servlet from JavaScript or maybe jQuery. Uh, basically, uh, when we talk about servlets, we can register a servlet using path or uh, using resource type. Resource type is recommended because there are issues with path based. First thing is uh, we need to allow that path on dispatcher and then if we have multiple paths uh, allowed from dispatcher again it will be a application vulnerability issue. Um, resource types of course are secured because uh, those will only be executed for a specific resource type and then further we have filter options available as well. For example within given URL you can give extension you can give suffix. Okay, let's jump on to the demo. Uh, what I have done, I have created a simple uh, servlet. This is a, a post servlet and uh, I have registered this servlet using resource type. And this is my uh, component uh, path. I have also given extension. I will talk about it. If I don't use extension, what will be the behavior? And within my post call, I'm not doing nothing. Uh, basically, what we can do, we can set property or maybe we can uh, same save some data to any database or maybe we call some uh, web service and then we can execute it in the post call okay let me go to the crxd oh, i have created a new component and in this component uh, uh, i have just uh, included my client library i have uh, one button and uh, then uh, on click of this button basically i want that servlet to be called now uh, the problem is if i go to my uh, javascript right uh, the problem is how can i get the resource path of that uh, um, servlet be because that servlet will only be executed for the resource uh, path uh, basically resource uh, type is nothing but the path of that uh, the component so what I uh, I need to do uh, basically uh, if I see where my component is stored if I'll just copy this path and I, I'll just put it in CRXT yeah so here is basically this resource type I want right so uh, somehow I want to get this data on the uh, on my JavaScript. So what I am doing right here within my uh, HTML file, I am passing it as hidden. See this line number six. I am passing it uh, current node path as hidden, and this is nothing but the current node dot path, which is path uh, until here. So here again, uh, uh, automatically I will get my resource. Okay, and then uh, within my JavaScript, I am fetching this path. Okay, and here uh, I have added the extension. I will just talk about it. If I don't add extension, what will be the behavior? And then uh, I'm just uh, using JavaScript jQuery click functionality. I'm uh, calling the servlet. Okay, I will just execute it. Let me start the debugger. I'll just the preview. I will refresh the page. Click on submit button. Yeah, so this is executing successfully. It means it's going to the to post method. Now, if I'll just stop the debugger and uh, let me just remove the my extension. Okay, I will just save it and uh, quickly deploy it. Okay, let me install the bundle.
I'm just going to the edit mode and I'm starting the debugger again. Now I have just removed the extension from the servlet. Now the problem with this is if you just edit it right, edit the component itself and then maybe you just save the dialog. Now you see the same uh, the servlet is still being invoked because since we don't have uh, any extension or selector right now and I'm just uh, uh, you know uh, doing a uh, post call as in uh, again when we are uh, you know submitting any data from dialog it's a post call only for that resource type so my same resource uh, my same servlet is being invoked so to avoid that situation as in uh, this servlet should be invoked only in that case if I uh, click on the submit button from from the HTML page then I will just add the yeah I will just add the extension and then within my JavaScript I am adding extension yeah. hope it, it will be helpful to you uh, yeah thank you so much